Hey guys, I'm Ace from the B Durham BGC, and today we are going to be making some golf ball art. Uh, this here is an example I have. Uh, we painted a little moon and some stars on for this one. Uh, you can paint whatever you want on yours. You can pick whatever colors you want. That's the beauty of it. Um, for this, you're going to need some golf balls. Well, any ball will really work, like any small ball, uh, like a ping pong ball or marbles. I prefer golf balls because they have like this pattern on them that makes it feel really textured and nice, as you can see on the example. Um, depend, you're gonna need a shoe box or any other type of box, like a lid for like a printer paper box. You can use lots of different things. Um, you're gonna need some paper. Um, any paper works really, as long as you can get paint on it. Um, you're gonna need maybe some pa painter's tape, depending on how big or your how like your paper fits into the box. Uh, I have some painter's tape here, which I use to hold my thing in. Uh, you may also need scissors to cut your paper to be able to fit within the parameters of the box. Uh, you can also use painter's tape to create fun patterns. As you can see, I made a border on this one with the painter's tape. Um, you can basically do whatever you want. That's the fun of this one. You can really do whatever you please. Um, you need paint, uh, whatever colors you want. You can mix and match, you can do lots. Um, something to hold your paint. You're probably gonna want something like a small bowl or something like that because you're gonna need to dip the golf balls in the paint. Uh, and I think that is all for this project. So, what you're gonna need to do here is you need to get your piece of paper, like I have already done here, and put it inside your box. If it doesn't fit, you might need to cut it down uh, to make sure it fits. Um, if it's kind of loose in your box and it doesn't fit perfectly, you might wanna get some tape and tape it down. Try not to tape it on two sides unevenly or you're gonna get uneven borders and it'll look a little weird. Uh, if you want, you can make sure to try and do it to the width of the tape and make a border like I did. Or yeah, you can, you can do whatever you like. So then you're, what you're gonna need to do next is get your paint. Uh, I cho chose just uh, red, green, and blue. Uh, and you're gonna wanna empty some of that into these little your little bowls you need a little bit of paint you don't need a lot of paint but you want to make sure you have enough because you're going to need to dunk your golf balls in it because you're going to want to have your golf balls or whatever ball you're using mostly coated one great thing about this craft is you don't have to be super artistic to do it. I am not an artsy person by any means. I'm not good at painting, I'm not good at drawing. Oh, that might be a little bit too much. But I can still do this fine, and it works out really well. It can turn out really nice, you can get a lot of nice stuff. Okay, so now once you got your paint in your bowls, I might need a little bit more red paint. All right, so now you got your paint in your bowls. Uh, you're gonna wanna take a golf ball. Um, you're probably gonna wanna do it one color at a time to avoid both mess and blending of the colors too much. Um, and you're gonna take your golf ball and you're gonna dunk it in your bowl. You're gonna make sure it gets coated. You wanna get it all the way around, all over the ball. You're gonna get your, a little bit of paint on your hands. Try not to get too much on your hands, but that's kind of inevitable with this. Then you're gonna wanna pick up your golf ball and put it in the corner. If you put it in the center, you're gonna get globs of paint. So you wanna put it in the corner of your box and then you're gonna like just roll it around. You can just move the, the box around, get all the paint spread out. And you can try and make fun patterns. It's a lot of fun to just like roll the ball around in the box. If you hit too, one area too much, you're gonna have a lot of paint on that, so try and keep it spread out. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. If you want to have one area super covered in paint, you can do whatever you want. This, there's lots of freedoms. You can mix and match colors. You can do whatever you want. All right, I'm going to get a little more paint on this ball to just get a little more covered. And then I'm going to move on to the next color. Ideally, you could let the different colors dry in between each color. But for this example, uh, I'm just going to do them all at the same time for time and I don't know maybe it'll create a fun little blended color look
depending on how thick you want the colors to be, you can do this a lot more. I'm gonna go for more of like a thinner uh, look with more a little more gaps on the paper. Um, uh, but you can really do whatever you'd like. Uh, so I'm gonna pop this back in and I'm gonna grab my next golf ball. Uh, you might wanna wash your hands in between the colors. So you try not to mix the colors, but I'm sure it'll be fine for me. I'm gonna get some green. Oh my, I'm getting blue paint all over this. And it's all right. They're already gonna be mixing on the page anyways. I'm gonna wanna get them, drop them on the corner of the page. So then you don't get like a big splotch on one side. And you're gonna roll it around. Try not to go too crazy with the golf balls. You don't wanna lose them and then you're gonna get paint all over everywhere. I think that's looking like a good amount of green. I might do a little bit, just a little bit more. You know, depending on how thick you want the colors to look, you're gonna need to do it a lot more. For the one, the example I did, I did it a lot of times. I did like three or four layers of each of my colors to get that really nice textured look that you kind of see there. To kind of go for a night sky. All right, I think I'm gonna be done with the green ball. Then I'm gonna move on to our red golf ball here. Make sure you change the paint pretty regularly. The paint will wear off pretty quickly off the golf balls. So after uh, around a minute or so, maybe less, of rolling one of the golf balls around, uh, you should probably switch them, up, switch them up and get more paint on them. Of whatever you're doing, you're gonna get paint all over it. So make sure it's not a box that's super important or you need for anything. As you can see mine, there's a bunch of paint on it from other ones that I've done in the past. We're getting a little more green all over this one. I might get a little more red up in there, but it seems like the color's mixed. This is one of the dangers of doing the colors two one after another instead of letting them dry that they mix a lot and you run into problems like this one thing i'd recommend when you do it wash your hands in between the colors and give each color a second to dry before you move on to the next one it doesn't need to be too long you just leave it for like five ten minutes if you really want to you can leave it longer but it should be pretty good around five ten minutes so now that you're done you're going to take your ball out this one looks like the green one i've done so much green on it you're going to move these to the side you clean those up later uh, once you remove this from the box Ideally, you'd want to wash your hands before you did this, but it's all right. Yours is a masterpiece, not mine. So, mine might not have turned out the best. Uh, the colors mixed a little, and our paper got a little wet from the paint. On yours, you should let it dry, and you get a beautiful masterpiece like we have here. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this craft. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for joining the Summer Camp Pals for another great video. For more videos like this, be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. We've got great activities for you to follow along with all summer. If you want to hang out with the BGC Pals in person, be sure to check out our after school program at 20 locations across Durham Region, get connected with one of our great evening programs in the fall, or join one of our other amazing programs. You can find details about all of these programs and more at bgcdurham.com. See you next time.